one of my greatest challenges on this trip um, was just seeing and um, realizing the great need that is around um, around us in this area. Um, I mean, you can walk outside and see that um, that there's just people that live with practically nothing um, to their name. Um, they they don't know where their next meal is coming from, and um, they just struggle to make it day by day. Um, and realizing how to respond to that need, um, both spiritually and physically, being able to provide um, food, being able to provide um, the bread of life, which is something that was a real challenge to me. I was reading through John, and I just came to the scripture that said, um, do not strive after food that perishes, but strive after the food that lasts to eternity. Um, and just realizing we can feed these people um, every day if we wanted to, but if we're not feeding them the gospel, we're not feeding them the words of life, like what good does that do? If you go overseas to a third world country that everyone will have to face the reality that poverty is real, it's all around, um, and it's, um, it's not something that can be ignored. Seeing some of the girls that I discipled um, learn and grow and to trust in Christ more, um, to become leaders among their group of friends and among um, the younger girls. Um, like I had one of the girls come up to me. I asked her, hey, our Ella, how are you doing today? Um, are you good? And she said, Tita, I am always good because God is always helping me. Um, and just that response in general was just so amazing and so encouraging. And so um, for me, that was one of the high points of the trip for me was just to see the fruit of um, that uh, discipleship that we were able to do last summer and that will continue once we're gone and will continue um, into eternity. <laughs>